Darnell Savage joins us now. Darnell, welcome. You are getting your first taste of professional football. What do you think? Uh, I love it. I'm just really happy to just have a place I can call home. You know, and just during the whole pre draft process, you just take a lot of visits, you see a lot of places. I like to just narrow it down to one and a place so special like this. You know, I'm extremely excited, so I'm just kind of just soaking it all in. Darnell, I got to tell you, I was at practice and Red Batty, the Packers equipment manager. <laughs> I mean, he's like an all pro in his field. And <laughs> yeah. He has seen it all. Uh -huh. Okay, unsolicited, he comes up to me at practice. He goes, "See number 26 out there?" <laughs> I said, "Yeah." He goes, "He's going to be a heck of a player." And I said, "What do you see?" And he said, "He is locked in." He is focused. He is attentive to all the right stuff. He's going to be a heck of a football player. Mm -hmm. And what I want to ask you, Darnell, do you feel like you're making a good impression? And are you doing all those things consciously? I do, but um, I wouldn't say consciously. You know, uh, I'm just being myself. You know what I'm saying? I've, I've, I've been raised really well. You know, I, I think the, the family that I've had around me, the friends I've had around me that, that have molded me into the person that I am, I'm just being myself and just trying to be my best self. You know what I'm saying? Just trying to get the most out of, out of, uh, out of me. Throws and it's picked up. Darnell Savage racing to the corner of the end zone. Touchdown. After you were drafted by the Packers and they had a conference call, you were asked to describe yourself hey. as a football player. And one of the things you mentioned was, I'm a playmaker. And you had eight picks at Maryland to prove your point. What's the key to being an interceptor? Uh, confidence. You know, um, it's a lot that goes into it. You got to do your film study. When that play comes or, or when you see that quarterback looking your way and you see the throw, you got to be confident to go get it. When the ball's in the air, anybody has the right to go get it. You also said you like to hit. Hey. And I've watched tape of you, Darnell, and it's like you take tackling personal. If you don't make the tackle, nobody will. That's yeah. the way you commit to that cause, and you do it fearlessly. Mm -hmm. It's just fun. It's just, I remember when I was just like little, and I first started football, I first started tackle. You know what I'm saying? It was just always fun. Uh, I started, I was a middle linebacker, and like literally, and I just like hitting people. It's, it's just exciting. I used to like hitting people and scoring touchdowns. You know what I'm saying? And, Interesting um, combination. Yeah, <laughs> so I just, I just play kind of with a chip on my shoulder. I know when you look at your vital stats, of course, the 436 jumps out at you. Is that the fastest you've ever run the 40 in? Or was that just one of a number of fast 40s? Yeah, got? that was one of a number. What's the fastest you uh, The fastest I ever ran was actually a 429. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Is it cool being able to run like that? It I is. mean, what, a, what, a, what an equalizer. <laughs> I mean, I can make a mistake, but I can catch it. I mean, is it that is. kind of cool to be able to do that? It is, but I, I tend to not really focus on it while I'm playing, you know what I'm saying? I, of course, it's great to be fast, you know what I'm saying? But I, I allow my body and, and my mind and my eyes take me to the place. I just let my speed or, or whatever have you do the rest. And I feel like I would be the same player that I ran a 43, 44, 40. Like, I don't think it matters. I think uh, just the way I play the game and uh, my mindset, I think that that's what makes me a good player. You're not bashful about saying that you play with a chip on your shoulder, okay? Yeah. When you think about it, you were the first defensive back selected in the National Football League draft. And the Packers traded two number fours and their own number one to move up to select Darnell Savage. Now, those are pretty neat things. Will it be hard to play with a chip on your shoulder when that kind of moves, those kind of things are happening that say, man, you are good. Yeah, you know, going in the first round, uh, Packers trading up to give me, it's, it's, it's great accomplishments. You know, that's, that's something I dreamed about, but um, I feel as if I'm not done yet. You know what I'm saying? This is just the beginning of a whole new journey. Um, I'm in the locker room with a whole a whole new group of teammates. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm working to gain their trust and, and to gain uh, just a, a closeness with them. You know, I just want to be a part of this family. So um, I still, I'm still going to have that chip on my shoulder. You know what I'm saying? Because that's, that's what's gotten me to this point. So um, I'm not going to change it. Last thing for you. Tell me about Born Ready. <laughs> All right, so uh, a lot of people are doing a lot of little funny different things with like their jewelry and stuff. Now, a lot of people are getting like their name or their number. Um, and I kind of got this 
Uh, just as more of just a confidence thing for myself. I'm just going to keep that chip on my shoulder and keep working, you know, and uh, I really think the sky is the limit. So as long as I just, just keep my head down and keep doing the right things on and off the field, treating people right, you know, uh, I think the man above will uh, uh, handle everything else for me. So I'm extremely excited. I like this chain, by the way. So. Darnell, welcome to Green Bay. Best of luck. Thank you. Appreciate that.